Let's start a topic that is called heat of neutralization. So in this heat of neutralization, the let us see this problem part. The heat of neutralization of HCl by NOH is uh, minus 55.9 kilojoule per mole. So if the heat of neutralization of HCl by uh, NOH is uh, minus 12.1 kilojoule per mole, so what is the energy of dissociation of HCl? So we have to find the energy of dissociation of HCl. So here we will see. So heat of neutralization is nothing but the reaction of acid and base. So acid base means here we have given acid HCl. So HCl is reacting with the sodium hydroxide. So it will give you your NaCl plus water. And here delta H is given here that is nothing but the 55.9 kilojoule. Okay. Similarly heat of neutralization of HCl will be with HCl uh, sodium hydroxide. So it will be your NaCl plus water so here delta h of neutralization will be your uh, minus 12.1 kilojoule that is per mole so what is dissociation of scn so delta h of dissociation of scn it will be how much so again uh, so here heat of neutralization with minus 12.1 okay and again heat absorbed by the formation of water that is h plus and 2s so we have to take here plus value so instead of minus value here we have to take plus value 55.9 so here we will get answers 43.8 kilojoules so we know that scn is a weak acid it is a weak acid so neutralization will be lesser than 13 point that is the 6 kilo calorie okay it will be lesser than uh, your 55.9 kilojoules we can see it is less than this one okay so from this this is our basically answer and we have a positive value also uh, here second question the heat of neutralization of four acids are a b c d and respectively 13.7 9.4 11.2 and 12.4 kilocalorie respectively so when they are uh, neutralized by a common base so when they are neutralized by a common gas so uh, why uh, so write the decreasing order of their acidic characters we have to write the decreasing order of the acidic characters so we can see we know that as uh, if the Heat of neutralization is heat of uh, neutralization is neutralization is lower. Okay, so more is dissociation. More is dissociation energy and weaker is acid. Weaker is acid. So here. Uh, heat of neutralization lower, so we have to see the lower heat of neutralization. Lower heat of neutralization are uh, 9.4, then after 11.3, then 12.4, and 13 minus C. So, decreasing order of the ST character will be your the first will be your A. So, A is the more A has a more energy, so is more acidic. This is your more acidic, then followed by D, then followed by C, then followed by B. So, so this is the order of acidity, order of decreasing order of. SE and DT. So here this is nothing but the minus 30.7 kilocalorie respectively. More energy there. So this is more acidic, this will be less acidic. Equal volumes of one molar SCL and one molar H2SO4 are neutralized by dilute sodium hydroxide solutions. X and Y kilocalorie heat are liberated respectively. Which of the following is true? So we can see here uh, one mole H2SO4 is giving is equal to nothing but the two equivalent of H2SO4 and similarly one molar HCl is, is equal to one equivalent of HCl. So here we can see this is nothing but the y x so here we are getting two y calorie and here we are getting how much x kilo calorie. So out of this four equations so to balance it so we can use this value to balance it so, so which of the uh, sorry uh, volumes are equal so in which which of the following t so if there both are e both are only equal Oh no, uh, so here energy is double here energy is same so in this case we have to write here uh, 2x is equal to y or we can say x is equal to y by 2 that is 0 0.5 so answer is 2.5 so this is our basic answer why we are writing because uh, equal heat is liberated equal heat is liberated we have to take this concept because acid will uh, uh, when SCL will react with the NOH, same amount of heat will be liberated by the H2SO4. So this is our basically relationships. 
so we have to keep this in mind here two solutions initially at 25 degrees centigrade were mixed in an insulated bottle one contains 4 ml of 0.2 normal weak monoprotic acid solutions and other contains 100 ml of 0.8 normal sodium hydroxide solution so after mixing the uh, after mixing the temperature rises to 26.17 degrees centigrade calculate the heat of notation of weak acid with sodium hydroxide so we use the this one the even acid react with the base so mean the equivalent of acid is 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 equal to mean equivalent of base so when mean equivalent of acid is nothing but the mean equivalent of base both are equal to each other then neutralization take place then uh, neutralization take place okay so here take place so first uh, how much ac is there ac is 400 into 0 0.2 and this is how much this is nothing 0 0.8 into 100 so both are here 80 and here also 80 now towards the party the total volume so total volume will be your 400 plus 100 so this will be total 500 ml and what is the mass of solution so mass total will be your mass total will be nothing but the volume into density and so density is given here 1 gram per centimeter cube so this becomes here 500 gram we can find out heat release so how much is the heat release so we can write here heat released will be m into cs into specific into change in temperature this is nothing but the 500 and uh, heat capacity is specifically 4.2 and multiplied by 26.17 minus 25 okay so this is uh, is equal to 2.457 into 10 power 3 zool okay now thing is that uh, 80 milli equivalent so 80 milli equivalent is the heat element re reacts uh, to liberate heat so how much they are liberating heat so li heat liberated is nothing but the this much is the heat liberated 2.57 457 by 3 joule so for uh, 100 so we have to find out 100 milli equivalent so not only 1000 milli equivalent react uh, react to liberate how much heat so it will be your 2.457 into 10 to power 3 and again divide by 80 so this will give you joule heat so uh, if you solve it so it will be something since 30.71 into 10 power 3 joule per equivalent so this is basically our answer enthalpy neutralization of a strong acid h and weak acid hb by sodium hydroxide at minus 30.7 and minus 12.7 kilocalorie equivalent when one equivalent of sodium hydroxide is added to a mixture when one equivalent of sodium hydroxide is added to this mixture containing one equivalent of HA and HV, so both are equal to one equivalent HA plus HV, the enthalpy uh, change was minus 30.5 kilocalorie. And in what ratio the base is distributed between HA and HV? So we have to find the distribution of base HA and HV. So let us take, so already the given here A plus, uh, so we have to take the HA equivalent of HA. Uh, a weak acid H is A and equivalent of H B is B. We have to take this uh, some value. So uh, for uh, um, heat of neutralization is how much? So for heat of uh, neutralization, so equivalent of acid is equal to equivalent of base. So equivalent of H A. So we are writing is we can take this value A plus equivalent of H B. So assume as a B is nothing but the equivalent of sodium hydroxide. So we can say that here A plus B is equal to 1. So but again it is given here given uh, this uh, weak acid react with the sodium hydroxide this will give you uh, your water plus sodium hydroxide and the heat is something it is given minus 13.7 kilocalorie. But when HB it react with the sodium hydroxide okay so this will give you your water plus Na. 2B is not NAB, it will be NAB and B respectively. Okay, so not NB, it will be your Na2B. So here heat will be how much? Uh, minus 12.7 kilo calorie. So this is given here. Now, question is that uh, case, uh, so this much heat is given by the some A mole, some B mole. So we can write here uh, A into minus 30.7. Uh, plus b into minus 12.7 okay so this will give you total heat of neutralization that is nothing but the 13.5 kilocalorie so we can solve it on solving 13.7 a 
plus 12.7 b will give you 13.5 so here is your one equation here is your second equation so again from we can from one and two so we get that what so b will equal to 0.2 and a is equal to here 0 0.8 0 0.8 so a by b will be your nothing but the 0 0.8 by 0 0.2 or we can see here force to one so this is our ratio in which base is distributed between we get it h a and h b uh, calculate the enthalpy of dissociation of acetic acid uh, if it's a uh, enthalpy of neutralization with strong base is uh, minus 50.6 kilojoule per mole and normal value of enthalpy of neutralization 55.9 kilojoule per mole that we know very well so again enthalpy of neutralization enthalpy of neutralization okay for which one acetic acid so for acetic acid will be how much this is nothing but the heat uh, released heat released uh, during neutralization heat released during uh, neutralization okay and then plus heat absorbed plus heat absorbed uh, during dissociation so you have to keep remember this formula this formula is very important okay by solving the equation so heat uh, of neutralization nothing but the uh, heat released during the neutralization and plus heat absorbed during the dissociation so this heat is absorbed by the actually water so here heat of neutralization of acetic is nothing but it is given here minus 50.6 kilo joule per mole and again here heat released during the neutralization is nothing so this is given here minus 55.9 uh, kilo joule per mole so uh, definitely heat uh, really during as uh, neutralization nothing so this is the energy of enthalpy of dissociation so there will be nothing but the enthalpy of enthalpy of dissociation okay then it will be uh, so it is out so enthalpy of dissociation will be dissociation will be how much so minus 50.6 and plus 55.9 so we will get answer here 5.3 kilojoule per mole so this is basically our answer so keep in mind dissociation of normally we are doing for the vehicle so this is nothing but the endothermic so it is heat is normally absorbed and heat is endothermic thermic so heat is absorbed the heat released of on neutralization of a strong alkali strong alkali like a, so, so, uh, suppose a sodium hydroxide with a strong acid is 13.7 kcal per mole now second case uh, the heat released on neutralization of sodium hydroxide with hydrogen fluoride so this is with a strong acid this is again hydrogen fluoride is 16.4 kcal so minus this is our one exception in which the heat neutralization with the hf is highest but here 30.7 kcal is the lowest so this is the one exception so this is very important so again we have to find out calculate the delta heat of hydrogen of ionization of hf in water so again when case is that when sodium hydroxide reacting with the acid so again heat of neutralization aqueous solution with acid strong acid that is s plus is from acid so it is given here they are forming water okay so in this case uh, delta h is how much that is they are giving a 30.7 uh, kilo calories and now second case is the case one okay now case two so case two is given again same uh, sodium hydroxide is reacting with the uh, hf okay so on giving again they will give you your water plus a uh, fluorine ion in aqueous solution in this case here heat of standard system is, is nothing 60.4 kilo calorie so they are asking what is the so uh, this is you can see this energy will be exothermic so if you subtract this one subtract this is number one this is number two so you can subtract uh, to find this ionization of fluorine to subtract what two minus one or subtracting so what will happen so we will get here so delta heat of uh, hf will be fluorine ion will be here okay how much so this is minus 16 minus 4 and minus uh, minus 13.7 kilo calorie so we will get answer here a uh, minus 2.7 kilo calorie uh, per mole so here this energy is nothing but the exothermic we can see here this will be heat will be absorbed outside the water so this much is our heat is absorbed during the ionization of the hf in water the ionization energy of solid nhcl is 180 kilo calorie per mole the dissociation of the solid in water in the form of ions is endothermic 
so when nscl dissociated in water is endothermic to the extent so how much energy is released one kilocalorie per mole if the solvation energy of nscl are in the ratio of 6 to 5 so when nscl divides into na plus and cl1 so their energy they are giving energy into 6 to 5 what is the enthalpy of hydration of sodium so here we have to write one equations so this is question is heat of solution so heat of solution okay so this is nothing but the heat of ionization plus heat of hydration so this is our basic concept first it will ionize okay after ionization the water will uh, so surround this uh, ionization energy and they will give you some heat so but heat of solution they have given here one kilocalorie per mole because it's endothermic so this is given here one and heat of ionization they have given here one eighty calorie this is something about the lattice energy this is nothing but the lattice energy they have given here one eighty kilocalorie per mole so definitely we will get here heat of hydration we require so this implies that the heat of hydration will be how much the heat of hydration will be nothing but the 179 kilo calorie per mole okay now what is the heat of hydration of sodium so sodium is nothing but a 6 by 5 ratio so again we can write here heat of hydration that is n is equal to nothing but the delta heat of hydration of sodium and plus delta heat of hydration of uh, of cl minus so this is nothing if you take here suppose a quantity you can take here so this will be 6 by 5 in 6 by sorry 6 by 11 into a a common and again if you take here 5 by 11 into a so this is nothing but this it will be same only we have to find the heat of hydration of sodium only so the heat of hydration only for the sodium will be how much so this is the total heat of hydration it is 179 okay so this will be your 6 by 11 into so total heat of hydration is nothing this is a so a is nothing what 179 so we'll get here so this is your value is minus so this is your minus is there this is minus 179 so, okay so this is my, so minus here so here we solve it so we will get here minus 97.63 kilo uh, calorie per mole so this is our basically answer so this will give you heat of hydration for sodium and in the solution similarly we can find the heat of hydration of the chlorine also but this is not asked in the question we can also find out with using the simple equations